Hey guys, it's Duncan back on the channel from Christchurch. Uh, for the first time I think ever on the channel, not at the Adventure Park. <laughs> so yeah, mixing up a bit with the Crocodile Adventure Park today. Uh, nice quick sort of loops with some decently fun trails on them. Uh, you're going to use this as a chance to do a six months sort of thoughts on the slash. But you've been on the bike for six months now, so thought I'd share my thoughts, what I've liked, what I don't like. So yeah, for those of you who aren't sure about it, the bike's a 2021 Trek Slash 8, the top spec alloy model. Um, yeah, I'm super impressed with the bike, it's super capable. Um, pretty good all-rounder too, full GX build with a Super Deluxe Ultimate on the rear and a Lyric Select Plus at the front. Changed out for Max's tyres. Um, I'll put up on the screen what I've changed, but running it pretty stock. Sweet, so just gonna do a starting run. Uh, I think I'm on Rick Rolled, yeah. I might come back and do a full sort of tour of what this park's like. Uh, but just for today, it's more just for the impressions uh, on the slash. Oh. So yeah, nice, nice quick fun little runs. Yeah, this bike's really impressed me. It is a long travel enduro bike, but it's pretty capable. Um, yeah, for how long and big it is, it climbs impressively well. I'll shoot up this, uh, which is a nice steep climb and really tight. Let's me power up this without, any without, too, without too many issues. But yeah, see, nice and nice and chill. Sort of bike if you're in the park, but you still want to come in and do this sort of stuff. It's got you sorted, really. Sweet, so overall thoughts of the bike. Uh, I'll start with just some, a couple of things I don't like, because there's very few. Um, and it's just kind of about the sizing. They're very long bikes, so I'm riding a large, um, it's um, 6'2", or 188 something centimetres. Um, I've always been on extra larges until this bike. It's just super long. So went down the size. Um, which means the standovers oops, which means the standover is much lower. Uh, which is great for descents, but 170mm dropper on it is just not enough. Uh, so it's definitely something I'll be getting sorted soon just to give my legs a little bit more room to work with. In a similar boat, the large runs. 175 mil cranks, which are very long for how low this bike sits. And on climbs, I do find it smacks a couple of times, which is kind of frustrating when you're trying to get up something a bit technical and you suddenly get bucked off because your pedal hits the ground. So there's only two real concerns I have with the bike overall. I'm stoked with it, which I'll jump into what I like about it on the next way up. Anyway, so this is crock pot, just a nice little shoot down the side of the hill. Sweet, so things I like about the bike can kind of be 
encapsulated into everything, which is a bit of a cop out. So just the style of the bike fits me really well for what I want to be doing. I do spend a lot of time in the park, um, but then I come out to do stuff like this where it still does it really well. Uh, I think a big factor of that is the suspension and the gearing. So it's on a 30 tooth chainring at the front, which when I got it, I thought I was going to get rid of. But with how big the bike is, it makes a big difference in sort of the snappiness of the pedaling up here. Um, which makes the bike so much better for all-rounder. Yeah, and then paired with the suspension, uh, the Lyric up the front is fantastic, but the Superlux Ultimate in the rear is just something else. So it's got three open modes, which I use quite a lot. Uh, so you can stiffen it up and have it more of a trail bike tune for something like this. Uh, you can run it pretty neutral, and you can open it up just to make it that bit more plush and a bit more sort of all round comfort in the park. Um, yeah, super nice top end with heaps of progression for support on the bigger hits. But yeah, then the geometry, nice and modern, you can take everything you throw at it. And then finally the 29 inch wheels, which I've held off from for a long time, thinking 27 and a half is more fun. I was wrong, at least in this bike, it lets you go so much faster, so much more planted, but still super playful with the short rear end. Um, yeah, so in summary, I really like the bike. So I'm gonna do off the cuff. Uh, there's a gap I've been looking at on it. We'll see if I try it, but it's a bit blind. Wait, dropping into off the cuff. A little bit tighter and steeper trail than the others, at least from what I've ridden so far. So. So what I've changed on the bike, uh, I guess moving front to back, uh, I've changed, changed out the tyres to a Maxxis Asagai and a DHR2 on the rear, uh, just a bit, a bit grippy, a bit burlier. Um, there's also a cush core in the rear uh, with the amount of rocks in Christchurch and how hard it seems I am on rear wheels, but it was just worthwhile keeping it uh, in one piece. <laughs> So yeah, it adds a little bit of stiffness to the rear wheel as well, which is nice, a bit more sort of predictable when you throw it into a corner. Um, cut the bars down from the stock 120, sorry, stock 820. Uh, it's way too wide for me. Uh, I do like big bars, but 785s will always be the right width for me. I did have a bit of a, a bit of a play around with different widths as I cut them down, but yeah, 785s are going to be the answer, at least for me personally, 820 was just too much, too twitchy, felt too stretched out. Um, and then I've chucked Deity Death Traps on for the pedals, I really like how concave they are, you just sit real deep into them, just feels a bit more connected to the bike. Um, I think that's everything I've changed. Um, I'll put a list up if I've forgotten something, but yeah, just small little changes to make an already great bike fit me just a little bit better. So yeah, I think I've covered everything I really wanted to say about the bike. Uh, overall, fantastic. Uh, been saying a lot of good things about it for climbing. Um, it's obviously not the perfect bike for it, but for what it is, it's doing really, really well. I actually do have a new bike on order which is a bit more fitting for the longer climbing sort of stuff. Uh, it's super different to any bike I've had before. Um, but if you want to jump down the comments and do the finally guessing game of what bike it could be, 
Um, yeah, it's been interesting. It's still a wee while away, it's just with bike delays and everything. Don't think I'll be seeing it till mid May, at least at this point. But things can change. Anyway, so leafy goose is down the bottom. I'm gonna give that off the cuff gap one more go. Oh, maybe two more goes. But yeah, sweet. Cheers, guys.